Kirsten Dunst, Jeff Bridges and Simon Pegg star in How to Lose Friends and Alienate People, which chronicles Pegg's descent from promising British journalist to dismal failure at a leading New York magazine. Told by new boss Jeff Bridges to impress and charm everyone he meets, Pegg manages to not only insult and annoy fellow writer Kirsten Dunst, but make pretty much every faux pas imaginable in his quest for success. Here's what Pegg and the director had to say on the matter. Welcome to Star of How to Lose Friends and Alienate People, uh, Simon Pegg. OK, now the film centres around an English man with absolutely no tact and uh, working in a foreign country. Yes. How would your character sell the film? Uh, badly, probably. Uh, I'm sure he would uh, just be um, slightly over-aggressive and uh, end up shooting himself in the foot. I would sell it by saying it's a wonderfully engaging comedy and will uh, have you in fits of hysterics. I like it. <laughs> This is going to go down well in the States as well as, as here, the film itself. I claim to have no idea how the film will do in the States, and obviously I hope it does well. I don't see it as my problem. I've finished the film. It's really someone else's problem. You've washed your hands of it now. It's yeah, over. exactly. I mean, it's, a, it's certainly a no-brainer in, in England because they yeah. just love the peg. They love Mr. Peg. There are more people over there, so obviously you have to, you have to gauge it relatively, I guess. Um, hopefully it'll, it'll, it'll go down on both sides of the Atlantic equally as well, but for different reasons. <laughs> yeah. They're all going to go see Megan Fox and Kirsten, that's, that's why. It's a good advert, her walking through the pool, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> I know, it's the new Dolce Vita. This one will go far. Now, the film's based on the memoirs of a British journalist. Yeah. But how accurate do you think uh, the film depicts? His memoirs. It's loosely based on Toby's experiences. Some of the things that happened in there did happen. The stripper at work, that kind of stuff, uh, but not all of it. And uh, did Toby Young help out much on set? Because allegedly he got kicked off set for being a bit annoying. No, that's Toby's story. He, he didn't get kicked off set. I think he, <laughs> he, uh, he said to Bob, the director, that uh, you know, he got very anxious when he was on set because he, you know, he wanted to get involved, and Bob just said, well, don't come to set then. And uh, so he didn't. But, uh, you know, he came on a few times. I mean, you, you know, it's his story, so you can't blame him. He sort of whispered some note into Kirsten's ear about his performance, which you don't do. That's like having, you know, <laughs> if you bring your four-year-old child onto the set and he comes up to the actors and starts to tell them how to act, you, you put him outside. So Toby got a big time out. Okay, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Somebody please escort Mr. Young off the set. And, um, so she did say kind of uh, politely, no, all, 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 very moving. All, all, no, no, all Kirsten said to me was, Toby Young just gave me a note, and I said, I will take care of this. <coughs> Actually, I was thinking, Clay, um, Paris Hilton. I do a profile on her as if she's this complete recluse. <laughs> like, it's like a hermit, you know? I'm tracking her down. Who is the elusive Paris Hilton, and why is she so publicity shy? Because <laughs> it's... A... <laughs> you know, it's good. Because just changing it. That's first room stuff, Sydney. And call me Clay one more time, see what happens. Simon <laughs> Peg, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>